Hey everyone, this is Scott Moore and you're watching the SMC Journal. Thank you for being with us. This is a show that talks about performance engineering, performance testing, monitoring, anything that relates to performance or anything else we want to talk about today. So I'm your host and what are we talking about today? Well, recently Microsoft announced a new load testing product on their Azure cloud platform. Uh, you may recall in Visual Studio Team Test Edition, there was a load testing component that was deprecated uh, in the last year or so. Uh, they haven't really replaced that, so this may be that offering to the developer persona uh, a solution for them. Let's just look at the quick shot here and see what Microsoft is saying about this. When they released it in preview, this says... Um, it is a simplifi simplified cloud-based load testing solution with high fidelity support for JMeter. Now that's a surprise because this doesn't match what was in the Visual Studio Team Test Edition. They had their own scripting technology for that and also for how they you know, generated load as well. So now they're taking the open source JMeter route for this, which to me is, is not necessarily bad, but it's, it's a little bit of a flag from the performance engineer and the tester in me versus a, a developer per persona. And so I'm, I'm always talking about this from the performance engineer perspective. Uh, and it also says that it's a comprehensive view of curated client and server metrics. So I want to know about these comprehensive metrics because as you hear me say all the time, the value of any load testing tool is the metrics that it provides so that you can take that analysis and make business decisions based out of it. It also says that it integrates with their CI CD pipeline solution, which would be Azure DevOps, of course, and streamline billing, which means they can bill you with one thing for all of your development testing, et cetera, et cetera, which doesn't really sound that bad. But, okay, so I want you to stay with me for a moment because when I hear Microsoft, especially their Azure cloud platform, and they say, we've got a major announcement, we've got a new load testing solution, of course, my ears perk up because I'm in performance, but it's Microsoft. So I expect something now innovative out of this, something huge, you know? So as I start looking through these articles, um, I'm kind of surprised. So let me show you a few of these articles that I found. And don't worry about the URL links. If you watch this on YouTube, you'll probably see all these links in the notes. We'll also put those on the smcjournal.com website as well. I always put my show notes out there. So you'll, you'll get the links, don't worry. But this is one of the first articles that I found about it uh, from November the 30th, 2021, introducing it, I guess, when they came out initially with Preview, and it kind of talks about how it works. So we see they've got sort of their scripting engine, which is JMeter. Um, then they've got a dashboard of metrics. We'll see what those metrics are in just a minute. And then you've got these dependencies on the right, which just means that it works within the context of Azure platform uh, components, if you will. I see uh, application Insights, Kubernetes, Azure SQL Server, with SQL Server is probably holding all those metrics as it's collecting the data to provide uh, the dashboards to you. But that's the, the main architecture overview. Now let's look at some of these metrics here. Uh, we have client side metrics, number of virtual users, res looks like uh, response time, successful errors, and requests per second. I don't really see a whole lot more. You may be able to bring up more, but I'm not saying that these are bad metrics. These are very useful metrics, but honestly, there's nothing innovative about it and there's nothing necessarily different about it. And so I'm, I'm still, I'm scratching my head at this point. I'm like, have I missed something? Uh, so as you dig a little deeper in here, uh, here's another article. What is Azure load testing? This is their preview. And this came out December the 7th. This is in the official Microsoft documentation. So it tells you how it works. The client side metrics include virtual users, response time. So, so, uh, so it's not any more than what I just showed you on that graph. The server side metrics about your application components. Um, for example, metrics on the number of database reads, HTTP responses, I guess, number of 503s, 200s, et cetera. And the container resource consumption, okay, that's good. But there's still nothing in here, uh, I guess in any depth, that tells me that it's any better or different than anything else that's out there in the market that can also run JMeter and can also run on Azure. And so the, the, the documentation here is really 
talking about general load testing practices and the benefits that you can get out of it. Things that we have been talking about for now, gosh, 25 years. Um, so it's still s sort of a, a basic type offering from what I can tell. Here's another article that has a quick start that takes you step by step. This was released on December the 15th. Uh, it tells you how to create a test, how to run it, um, how to, I guess, see when your deployment's complete, how to put it into the CI pipeline. I mean, and those are all great. And then it's got information on how to create a JMeter script. Um, so I'm, I'm still looking for other articles on this. And if you know more about this than I do, please contact me. But as I look through this, I think the biggest takeaway for me is I, I guess I'm a little disappointed Microsoft. So let me speak to Microsoft for just a second. You are a freaking quadrillion, bazillion, hazillion dollar a year company, okay? You could own this market if you wanted to. You have the developer mind share and knowledge base, the skills, the financial resources and every other kind of resource to come out with a product that could just slay everybody if you wanted to. Why don't you want to is my question. This is really another um, offering that matches other products that have been out there for years. I'm thinking of Blaze Meter. I'm thinking of Redline 13. I'm thinking of Flood.io. And by the way, don't forget that um, other commercial products for years have supported running JMeter scripts. Uh, this is in the Microfo MicroFocus community where it's been talking for years about how to add JMeter tests to LoadRunner, uh, LoadRunner Enterprise Performance Center, uh, or whatever it's called today, <laughs> LoadRunner Enterprise, and LoadRunner Cloud as well supports this. And they have been supporting these open source technologies for years. So I'm still confused as to why Microsoft would only focus on the persona of the developer when they, they have products that need to be tested at various stages so what about us performance engineers and these metrics that you're providing? I mean, what about, uh, what about other kinds of metrics that we might want to dive into for that database other than just those straight ones that we could get out of like uh, your equivalent of CloudWatch, your, your server metrics out there on the cloud or your cloud metrics? Um, I, I guess I just expected a little more out of Microsoft. You, you could have done this. And if this is just your replacement for VSTS, um, I'd really like to know that this is just your first part. This is just a preview. There's more coming and that you're going to enable the performance engineer persona to be able to use this as well. And it's not going to be just limited to HTTP protocols that we've got to think about WebSockets and WinSock and other protocols that have nothing to do with HTTP. Are we going to be addressing those as well? Maybe even some that don't need to integrate with a CI pipeline. I mean, those are a, a lot of unanswered questions that I have from, from the research that I've done. I don't have it. So uh, first impressions, I got to give you the sad trombone, Microsoft. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think that you should continue on. And I think there are people who would be happy to give you feedback in the performance community as to how you can broaden your scope, how you can make this better, and not just another JMeter at scale offering and oh yeah, it runs in a pipeline and instead of using Jenkins, you can use Azure DevOps. And oh, by the way, it's one bill. So I just keep thinking about that and, and I don't know, am I jaded? Am I, I, I try not to be, but I, I may be wrong and I'll admit when I'm wrong, okay? So that's where you come in, let's interact. You know, you can always reach me at my website at scottmore.consulting. I'm very active on LinkedIn, so there's the URL for that. And you can find me on Twitter at load tester is my handle and you can also reach me at help at scottmore.consulting by email so let's continue to keep the conversation rolling here what do you think about the azure load test offering and what's your feedback from me I'd, I'd love to hear from you on that i'd really like to thank our sponsors for this show one of them being haymaker coffee company out of north florida uh, they're a new coffee company, but I think their coffee is great. I think you should go to their website and use my specific code PERF10 to get 10% off of their brews. And let me know what you think about the coffee as well. I'd also like to thank Bright Payment Solutions. If you are a company that's taking credit cards and you need a plan for you to reduce the overhead and fees that you're paying, custom solution, Bright Payment Solutions is for you. 
Make sure that you let these companies know that you appreciate their sponsorship of this show so that we can continue doing this. And with that, I'm going to leave it to you to give me feedback on what you think about this. And until that time, until next time, this is Scott Moore for the SMC Journal, where it's all about performance, saying bye-bye.